what's up it's kelly back with another video and i'm a little ashy today Ooh. today i'm doing a mini so haul this is literally my favorite little store they don't have one at the mall where i live but literally every time i go like to a mall out of my city i go to mini so and just do like a mini haul so um i also went to i believe the store is called tokyo japan um fun store and um I got some stuff from there too, so it's like a mini combination haul. I'm so excited. Let's get a sew it. We got some tempura seaweeds. Honestly, I've never did like a food trying video, so I guess we're just gonna like look at it and eat it. I've never had them before, so we're gonna try it today. These are supposed to be smoked barbecue flavor. What the heck? Wow, it's literally like tempura with seaweed. Um, like, you know, that's crazy. Smells like bread and seaweed low-key. So I guess we're just gonna... This is called High Tempura. It's the seaweed for me, boo. I actually like it. I don't even like tempura, like I said. Maybe it's just the shrimp that I don't like inside of the tempura because this was fire. It seems like a lot of the stuff that I have is from the same company, which is so funny. Oh, and they're from Thailand. It's lit. I believe the company is called Talcanoy. Um, doing all right right now. Next, I got some want want rice crackers and i love rice cakes and they have like four different types of these actually these aren't from um these are by hot kid but um these just look like the most appealing and the most efficient for me because i can just like take one out and the rest were just like cookies in a tray i'm just gonna open this up and it's so cute it kind of reminds me of like a bar of soap at a hotel right I've never had one of these before. I hope it tastes like a rice cake. Oh, there's two in here. Whoa, it low-key, right now it's looking like a long Cheeto. Ooh, let's see. Mmm, smells like a Cheeto. I promise I'll never like the way that crumbled in my mouth and the way it tasted when the cheese melted on my tongue ever. It just tastes like um off-brand Cheetos, really. It's not doing it for me. I hope you like it. It's very thin. I'm going to be um having a strawberry ramu bottle. This is by Sangria. It's supposed to be naturally flavored. Um, it's strawberry flavored. I thought the container looked really cool. So I wonder if it's the same kind of drinks that are in the glass bottles like this because I used to really like those when I was younger. Oh, this is carbonated. Maybe I shouldn't shake it. Ooh. Does everybody out there work out or something? I literally had to use my teeth. Here we go. Honestly. Honestly. It's not my favorite, but it doesn't taste very bad. <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of kind of like a strawberry Fanta with like a bit more um, artificial flavoring. On to the next one. On to the next one. We have these Calbi My Pot. They're supposed to be um, potato chips with Himalayan pink salt. Now, sorry. I do enjoy me some original Lay's and some salt and vinegar Lay's. So I'm super excited to try this. And it's like literally my favorite color. Ooh, they smell kind of like kettle cooked, kettle cooked chips. But they're not. Hmm. Hmm. It says they're made with potatoes only grown in the United States and sprinkled with a hint of Himalayan pink salt. They're softer than Lay's. 
and they don't have as much taste. Maybe the Himalayan pink salt takes away a lot of the flavoring or something. And there's 330 calories per bag. It was okay, but it's not my favorite. Maybe it's just because I'm used to like having um an oversaturation of like flavors in my chips, you know, because this tastes way healthier. They say it's 152 calories in a one ounce bag. This bag is 2.12 ounces. So it's probably about like 300 and something calories. So it's about the same. So they just taste healthier. So now um, we're going on to the big roll. They had these in like three different flavors and I tried to get the barbecue one, but I was too short and no one would help me in the store. So I got the original because I love seaweed. Yeah. Woo. It's literally like, I think it's like a rolled up, dried up piece of seaweed, but this is pretty freaking dope, dude. And there's only 10 calories in this. There is sugar on this though and salt. You could get with this so you could get with that. You could get with this, or you could get with that, but you should get with this, because this is where it's at. Zoo, zap, dippity. Come on. It's hard. It's not a soft roll. Mmm. Okay. 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 This video is mean. It really isn't bad. It just has like the soy sauce is like really sweet. But um it tastes really good and it seems like a nice little snack, you know. I also got these little three snack kits. This one's like a burger and fries and sushi. And this is like a little soup with pot stickers. I saw Emmy do these on um YouTube, so I will in the description. It's called Poppin' Cookin'. And I want to do the little burger one first. I'm really excited. A whole bunch of in instructions on the back. And I guess it's supposed to go on top of here. So we have our bun candy powder. My favorite. But this is our cat patty candy powder. <laughs> our potato candy powder. This one is ketchup. And this is Coca-Cola. Ugh, this is cheese. So we're just gonna add a triangle of water. It's potato candy powder, so. And how much do we add, all of it? I'm just gonna put the whole thing in here. Oh wow, crazy. <laughs> So they're using their little spoon, so I'm gonna just meet. This is not really thick. I'm not a rapper, so. Dude, this is the mess that, ah! Oh, I might have too much water in my fries. I'm gonna do a separate video for the other two because this is so um, time consuming. One. Two. <laughs> now we're just going to add powder from the orange packet and mix until the dough combines. And these are gonna be our buns, our booty butt, booty butt, booty butt cheeks. The powder doesn't have a smell, it's weird. Okay, I was right to add the whole thing. So, <laughs> mm. this is the worst spoon for stirring ever. I don't know, maybe I need to like, you know. This is how you need dough. I think this dough is pretty much combined. It smells pretty good. So we're just gonna stuff it down in here. This is so time consuming, bro. 
next one. That's enough. We're going to make the meat. The patty. Oh, there's not too much water. It says the meat is going to have to sit for 10 minutes. like chili um so now we're just gonna put this in this little section right here let me mix it a bit more because i forgot i have to eat this to be honest okay now it's a thick bean paste and we're just gonna get all this in Fit that thing up. Fit that thing up, baby. So to make our cheese, we're going to need one cup full. Like this. Throw that in there. Just throw it in a bag. <laughs> we're kneading this because it said the cheese needed to be kneaded. Mood. Here's our, um, this is just really just cheddar cheese, cheddar, it's shredded melted cheese. That's what we're putting on our burger. We're going to make the ketchup where we just made the cheese. There we have, I hope this is enough water. Child, this ain't looking like that. Mm, it's like a strawberry, which is cute. We're going to make our cola before we do anything. We're going to fill the... What? That's a lot of water. It says fill the water up to the line marker. I know they're not talking about up here. Enough to get the party going. I wonder what this is going to taste like. Oh, it's fizzy. I was really scared, but I did it. Hey, child, this is disgusting. I look, you just want to like knead it together so that I know it's like mixed and cooked. Maybe I'll f trick someone into eating it. We're just going to take some of this. Slather it up on the bun. Ugh, that's the wet one. So here is our first little burger. So, ugh, it's like paste. I think I put too much water, honestly. So I'm just gonna pick it out and um, try and harden it myself by mixing it in my hands. Tastes like bubblegum paste. Slather a little bit around the side, you know, to give it a bit more color. Gonna eat my little burger, I guess. <laughs> no one's gonna stop me. Smells like candy bubblegum. Um, wow, my phone is so bad at focusing. Um... It doesn't taste bad. It tastes, honestly, it just tastes like really fake candy. Mm. I'm getting a hint of bubble gum up in there. Let me see if it's the bread. This meat is still moist. Mm hmm. <gasps> it's definitely giving bubble gum from the bread. So now we're going to try the Coca-Cola. I love Coke, but something tells me I may not like this one. Mm, I kind of just want to do a shot. But... Mm. 
honestly it tastes like kind of like watered down coca-cola really so it's not really bad but it doesn't taste like a fresh can of coca-cola you know but it's not bad and finally i got some green tea in a can and this is by ucc and is supposed to have no sugar no artificial coloring and it is brewed from a tea leaf zero calories my favorite i usually get my green tea from starbucks but i will get it with no sweetener iced and um yeah so you know i'm very excited to try this because i hate green tea with sweetener it tastes terrible it doesn't taste bad that's what green tea like literally tastes like like leaves and grass low-key but um it just needs to be cold and this will be fire Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And please be sure to check out my new single, Never Looking Back, out now on all major streaming platforms. Link in the bio. Have a great day. Cheers.